Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Pogs are here and we welcome you all to this super interesting comparison video. In this video, we are comparing Nokia Sirocco and Nokia 7 Plus side by side. So as you know, Nokia Sirocco and 7 Plus are two of the most interesting Android smartphones out there. And uh, both are like, both belong to different categories if you talk about it. So 8 Sirocco uh, is the flagship Nokia Android smartphone and 7 Plus is the flagship mid-ranger from Nokia so uh, I mean if you compare there is a big uh, difference between the pricing of the devices and obviously there's difference between the processor etc but uh, when it boils down to the things like design uh, it, it is the you know uh, like Nokia design genes that you will find here and while Nokia 7 plus has beautiful design along with you know emphasis on the strength uh, so it has the alum aluminium unibody with uh, ceramic coating. Nokia at Sirocco is a piece of beauty. So it's uh, the you know emphasis is on uh, strength because it has this steel body, but also the emphasis is on beauty. So which is why it has a 3D glass body. So that's where like the design differences are. So as I told you, Nokia 7 Plus comes with aluminium unibody design. Nokia 8 Sirocco comes with uh, uh, you know steel frame but a 3d glass uh, unibody design so obviously uh, while Nokia 8 Sirocco looks like a you know more delicate device Nokia 7 plus looks like you know every bit premium uh, I mean obviously I mean if you compare so there are like uh, lots of differences between how these devices look to you appear to you so you can uh, I mean once you have uh, your look uh, on both the devices side by side you can notice how uh, Nokia at Sirocco has a, di a display which goes from H to H that is not the case on Nokia 7 plus though I'm not trying to say that Nokia 7 plus has <laughs> has any like bad display it has a very very nice display very vibrant uh, very beautiful looking display but then the display design of uh, you know Sirocco is quite something which uh, makes it different makes it appear different from uh, other devices so if you try to look at from the side, you will notice the difference and you will appreciate it. As I said, Nokia at Sirocco is the premium flagship. So it comes with a premium flagship like design. It, it's a bit, I mean, while HMD claims that it has steel frame, which is even uh, stronger than aluminum. But obviously uh, you cannot deny that it looks slightly delicate because of its glass body. <laughs> this is uh, how the side frames compare. The, the thing is that uh, when you, whenever uh, Nokia has created a flagship premium, it, it, the design is not very flashy. You know, I mean, in a sense that you can see that Nokia 7 Plus comes with accentuation, but H Sirocco does not have any accentuation. So it has a, a you know ongoing black theme, that kind of feel. So what makes it look beautiful is the industrial design that Nokia has created. So this is how they uh, you know compare and look, uh, you know, different sidewise Sirocco versus 7 plus this is how the backs look like so as you will uh, notice there are like uh, lots of different ways uh, when it comes to the back design uh, it, it is uh, more compact the Sirocco and the back looks uh, glossy as compared to the matte uh, back of Nokia 7 Plus. So Nokia 7 Plus uh, back has this alu uh, this uh, ceramic feeling uh, coating. So it has got a coating which gives it a ceramic feeling. So it's an aluminum in your body but uh, with this coating it, it really feels nice to hold it in your hand and it feels steady. Uh, while we talk about Nokia Sirocco, so while it feels good in your hand, but the feeling is different from what you feel when you have Nokia 7 Plus in your hand. So sometimes when your hand is uh, sweaty, your palm is sweaty, you will uh, I mean, feel that Nokia 7 Plus is, uh, feels more steady in your hand as compared to its Sirocco. So this is like uh, lots of difference between how the back is designed, how the coating is done, how the finishing part is, as we told you. So again, I mean, when you come to this uh, volume button, the power button, so uh, those things are like uh, located, uh, I mean, in the same way here. When we go to the back, uh, to the bottom actually, so you can notice that uh, USB-C port uh, and speaker here. 
so in both the cases in both nokia 7 plus and sirocco the speaker and the uh, usb c port is at the bottom here so this is how they look like uh, when you compare the design uh, at the bottom so the side profile the other side then the top so what you will notice when you uh, compare the top is uh, that 3.5 mm headphone jack is missing from sirocco and it is here present on nokia 7 plus now it is uh, being considered as a feature because most of the flagships have uh, like this uh, 3.5 head uh, phone jack missing and when you come to the front you can uh, see that double tap to double tap to uh, wake up works perfectly on both the devices and uh, as i told as i told about the display so i mean you have a look at both the devices side by side and you can uh, really notice the difference between how the displays are designed on both of them so while uh, nokia 7 plus come to 18 is uh, oblique 9 uh, display uh, the sirocco comes uh, with a display which is 16 is to 9 but still if you ask me which display looks more modern or like uh, more uh, you know more fuller more modern then i will obviously say that uh, nokia sirocco display really really looks amazing and uh, the reason obviously it's a 2k display while uh, nokia 7 plus has a 1080p display and obviously uh, apart from these things the design plays a big part in uh, making it look really really different so this is how uh, nokia 7 plus and nokia 8 sirocco compares in terms of design size build quality so i mean that's what we wanted to convey to you so thanks for watching the video stay tuned for more interesting videos from nokia for user youtube channel